We're back here with another edition of Current Events with the editor of the Missoula Current. How are you doing today? Doing great, thanks. Good. This is a segment where we normally talk about the latest things happening in city government, and I want to talk a bit about housing. Tell me what the city did this week. Well, they've been discussing vacation rentals here for the last couple of weeks. Okay. It's nothing new. This has been going on for years, the vacation rental issue. Some people feel it's taking a bigger portion of our housing stock. Mm -hmm. The city did a study. They found out that wasn't true, but there's an Airbnb operates as a business. So some people want uh, them to register as a business in residential areas. It's a complicated topic. They made no progress on it this week. They killed the bill that was in the, in the city council. That strikes me as pretty different because I know that there's about 500 or so. I know that might be old data, but there's about 500 Airbnbs in town. And I know Bozeman banned Airbnbs last year. What makes Missoula different from Bozeman in that aspect? Well, Missoula's stock of Airbnbs is nothing close to what Bozeman's is. Ah, about okay. 587 Airbnbs represents a smaller portion of the per capita class in Missoula, where Bozeman's is quite a bit higher. Whitefish is way higher. So it's all about supply and demand right now. It's just not taking up that much of market. It's about 1.5% it's about of the housing market in Missoula. So right now it's not an issue. I know the vacancy rate though is still pretty low. We haven't seen rents drop too much. What was the discussion like in there about this bill? Well, right now the issue is Airbnbs are a business and they're able to operate in residential areas. Other businesses are not permitted in residential areas. So instead of banning Airbnbs, what the city council is going to do is like code reform. Okay. It's a really boring word. It's kind of a boring topic, but it looks at zoning. So they want to be able to zone more businesses into residential areas like coffee shops, corner markets. So instead of eliminating a business type, they want to bring in other types of businesses. Code reform is going to take a while to play out, but that's the goal. Would the idea be that these Airbnbs would only exist in these pockets like around the other businesses? Well, Airbnbs can operate pretty much anywhere in the city. Uh, commercial zones, residential zones, most businesses are restricted from residential zones. So code reform would change that type of zoning and allow commercial businesses to operate in residential areas. I'm sure that Missoula's growth plan probably looks a lot like this neighborhood. I'm seeing like businesses and residences kind of stacked on top of each other. It was that kind of the, the conversation you're expecting? Is, this is a mixed use kind of project and that's kind of the new hip thing. They want to see mixed use development. You're going to see that on Scott Street when that project unfolds. Okay. You're starting to see that out uh, you know, on, in the Mullen area. That's the hip new thing. That's the direction the city wants to go with the zoning. It's a kind of bland, neighborhoods so they're walkable. You can walk to the market. You don't need to drive. You can walk and get groceries. You don't need to hop in the car, go across town. That's the goal. It's been nice seeing so many people walk out even on a kind of a chilly February day. What's the next step for the code reform then? What should people be looking out for? It's going to be a long process. It kind of comes out in parcels. You know, it's going to be kind of a you know, slow creep of proposals and policies, uh, but just keep your ear to the ground and participate in the process if you want to be in the know. It's a, it's a big deal. It's a big change in zoning and it's going to kind of reshape how Missoula looks and feels down the road. Well, if you want to stay in touch with the code reform, the best place to go is the MissoulaCurrent.com. Thank you so much, Martin. I appreciate it. Hey, thank it. you.